Yeah, my journey into Power Badminton started um, in 2016. Um, I was volunteering at um, Rebound WA um, and I was helping out with children with disabilities. And we were just we just run like come and try days and just got them into sport. And Ian Bridge actually came along to run one of those come and try days for badminton. And because I was a volunteer, I had a hit and had some fun with the kids. And obviously, because I came from a tennis background, I could hit the shadow and made contact with the shadow. And then Ian just was like, "Okay, so you can do this." Um, and he was starting up a club. I think a couple of months after. So he's like, oh, do you want to come along and join the club? I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll um, come and give it a go. I wasn't doing any sport at that time. I was just going to the gym. So I'm like, oh, yeah. Um, so I went along to the first night and at the end of the night, he basically dangled the carrot and said, if you work hard enough and committed and determined, you might be able to make the 2020 Paralympic Games. And from then, yeah, my journey started. <laughs> My thoughts of Parabadminton being introduced into the Paralympics was complete enjoyment, fantastic, excitement, everything. I was thrilled that it was actually being introduced and I would have the opportunity to achieve my childhood dream. Okay, so my emotions associated with playing at the Paralympic Games, I've always wanted to play at the Paralympic Games. Like I played tennis when I was young and I've always wanted to try and get into the Paralympic Games with tennis. But unfortunately, there was only a wheelchair category and obviously I'm not in a wheelchair, so I couldn't use the opportunity to um, achieve my dream that way. So when Parabangminton was introduced, I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to go go for it and see where it leads me. Yeah, and then there was no turning back for me. This was 2016. Yeah, so basically I started at a club, um, just casually doing like doubles. Um, and then I got some individual training with Ian. Um, and then it just built on from there when I started playing four to five times a week. There are so many words of advice that I would give a junior or new para badminton player. But basically, badminton's a family. So I'd be, I would welcome them to the Bangwinton family and say that wherever they are, um, countries, that they can always go to a Bangwinton centre and fit in because it's a worldwide sport. So go in, make new friends, yeah. Um, now I'm probably going to get emotional saying this because I wrote it down and it's a really emotional one for me. Mm -hmm. um, I've had a, so my support work network is huge, um, I have a fantastic support network, my coach is my biggest supporter and he got me where I am today, he supported me to become physically and mentally strong, he was thrilled that all our hard work has paid off, my parents are amazing and they support me after hard training sessions and through all the ups and downs, mum has food ready when I walk in from training, has heat bags ready and ready to massage if needed. They were, they were so excited. They gave me huge hugs. Um, and then because we were actually having dinner that night and my sister was there as well. And she was thrilled because she knew that it was a lifelong dream. She remembers when I was like a child wanting to always go to the Paralympics games. So she was absolutely ecstatic. And then my nieces and nephews are young, but they always want to give me love and cuddles when I'm feeling low and tired or after a hard training session. And in summer, they always want to go out into the backyard and hit shuttles um, and copy my other exercises that I do at home. My friends have been super supportive and understanding that I might not be able to attend social gatherings because of bag badminton and Bauer has been a fantastic support. Everyone is there for me. Mm -hmm.